welcome to Deborah's Sweet Kitchen. Now we're going to get into our second dish, which is a sweet that's been around forever, monkey bread. Monkey bread is one of America's favorite sweets when you were kids. You know, the sticky and the gooeyness of the sugar and the cinnamon, and just it was just fun to eat. Well, we're gonna go on and, and uh, start with showing you how simple it is to make monkey bread and how quick it is. But what you really wanna use is just go to the store and get you just some, just a pack, just a pack of biscuits. You can go and they don't cost that much, get you about three or four cans, and what you're gonna do is cut them up. Uh, each biscuit will be cut up in about four pieces. You're gonna put them in a bag, and that bag is gonna be filled with a cup of sugar and a couple of tablespoons of cinnamon. And you're going to shake that bag up and you want it really coated well. And we're going to do that for each one of the biscuit pieces. And from there, we're going to move on to our next phase of our monkey bread and show you how fast it is to get it going and get it in the oven. We're going to take our biscuit and I'm using a, a, a cookie sheet with a spatula. And I'm going to press down so you get half of a, bit of a biscuit and then cut it again, like I said, in quarters. So you have four pieces. If you have scissors, you can just take your scissors also and hold it up and just cut it across and across you have your four pieces. So scissors are good also. And we're gonna take each biscuit and cut it into fours. And when it's finished, then we're ready to do our shake, shake, shake <laughs> with, our, with our sugar and our cinnamon. And then we can put it in a bunt pan. We're gonna take a bunt pan and uh, put all of our biscuits around in a circle of the bunt pan. Now we're finished cutting up all of our biscuits. <laughs> now we're going to take a cup of white granulated sugar, pour in a bag, get about a tablespoon of cinnamon. I'm a little generous. It's okay. There's no right or wrong here. It's okay to be a little generous, especially if you love cinnamon like I do. You close your bag and you're going to mix it so it blends well. And you can see the sugar and the cinnamon is all mixed up together. Open your bag and now you can reach in and you're going to put in uh, about 10 chunks at a time. Close your bag. Shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake Sonora. <laughs> Let's shake them and get them well coated. Well coated. Okay. Now, look at that. Oh my goodness. Looks so good. And that's what you want them to be very well coated with sugar and cinnamon. I'm going to go over and get our bunt pan. Spray it well with our spray so that because you're going to be dealing with sugar and some other items that can stick to the walls real easily. So you want to make sure that your pan is well coated. I'm going to pause and grab my pan. Get my spray. Oh, almost dropped. Good catch. <laughs> and I am going to start spraying my pan. Like I said, you want to make sure you're post is sprayed really good and then you want to spray the outer parts of your pan to make sure that you leave no stone unturned. I'm going to bring it over where I am and I'm going to start dropping them in the pan and also put more inside my bag and they're sticky so you got to be careful you know you don't want to be pulling on them you want to keep them round and chunky that's what's the fun about monkey bread or as some people call it pull apart <laughs> and yeah I did put a little bit more than 10 you know you just got to be careful so they won't clump together and just shake them really well get that cinnamon and sugar all mixed in with them and now Take them out and we're going to drop some more in the pan. And we're going to continue this until we get the pan 
about two thirds full. My old favorite, pecans. From the south, we love pecans. If I get this bag open. <laughs> I'm gonna take pecans. Now you can use a variety of things. You can use raisins. Some people like to put raisins in there. So now I'm gonna add pecans to the mix. Look at that, oh, delicious, delicioso. Now I'm gonna go back and continue with our dough and put more in the bag until we get this finished. And when we finished, and we have the uh, pan about two thirds full. I'm gonna go over to the stove and I'm gonna have about a cup and a half of butter and about a packed cup of brown sugar and we're gonna heat it on the stove for about a minute. Once we get it heated and it starts bubbling a little bit, we're gonna bring it over and we'll pour it on top of our pecan and biscuit biscuits. Welcome to Deborah's Sweet Kitchen. Now we are going to be dumping in the cup of brown sugar and also our cup and a half of butter. We're going to dump it right on in, okay? And we want to get this melted. Just let the pan get a little heated and we're going to melt it until it's really mixed well, until it starts bubbling. Once it starts bubbling and becomes, begins to boil. Then we'll let it sit for about a minute and boil. We'll take it off and we're just going to pour it right in our mix. Look how fast that's melting. Like I said, each part of this doesn't take that long. And we just need to get it to a boil. Now I'm going to go back over to our mix and see it's fine. It's not burning or anything. And it's getting ready to boil. Let's let it sit and boil for a second. And it is bubbling quite nicely. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to remove it from the, from the fire. And now I'm gonna take it and just pour it right in on the biscuits. Look at that, ooh. All you gotta do is pour it around in a circle. No, no art to it. Just pour it in. Look at that, oh yeah, that's perfect. Shake this down a little bit. Cause you just want it to be even down in the pan. It looks good. Okay, I think we got it even. And now we're going to put our monkey bread in the oven. And our monkey bread's gonna bake for about 35 minutes. And we'll, after it's done, we'll turn it over and we'll add a glaze to the top. And oh my goodness, be ready to go. Let's check on our monkey bread here. It's been in the oven for about 35 minutes. Let's get a look at it. And some, what you may wanna do is add a pan under it also. As you can see ours is so fluffy actually kind of coming down the side a little bit but I have a pan here so that's good it I think yeah it's done so we're going to remove our monkey bread out and put it up here oh it looks so good this is fluffy fluffy pull apart look at that see that mmm okay and we're going to close our oven well let me take this out Remove our pan now and close our oven. Okay. We're going to dump out our pull apart, which is our monkey bread. And doesn't it look delicious? We're going to take our pan and you're put it on top. Grab your monkey bread by the middle. Let's turn this bad boy over. Center the pan. Whoa, look at that. Isn't that delicious? Oh my goodness, look at all the syrup. And I'm just gonna stand here, and let it just drip, because that's just gonna add to the flavor. We have monkey bread. Isn't that delicious? Okay. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to put our glaze now over our monkey bread. Like I said, keep it simple. Go get just a plain old can of frosting. 
and you're gonna pop it in your microwave for about 20 seconds. If it's not soft, where you can, it moves as you move the cup, put it back in for another 10 seconds until it's loose. And you're just gonna pour it on the top of your monkey bread. Alrighty, we have our glaze. Stir it around just a little bit. And now, that's okay. <laughs> We're gonna pour it over our monkey bread. Look at that, oh my goodness. That is awesome, huh? Awesome, awesome. Just to have a little added flavor. You don't want to cover your monkey bread. You just want to just let it drizzle down. Get that little added flavor. Welcome to Deborah's Sweet Kitchen. 